meeting with them yesterday and they were excited not for the reading but really to find out how the weather was going to be today i'm like it's going to be really really great <laughs> for sure lady <laughs> said you're good so shout out to them <laughs> But yeah, for sure. Uh, perfect for recess, right? <laughs> Absolutely. We had our third day in a row of 60s, our third day in a row of sunshine, right? It's about time for it to change. I know we don't want it to. It is going to be cooler and wetter as we head into your Friday. Out there today, though, beautiful sunset there at Sourtown Mountain. You've got some nice oranges and reds starting to pop up just a little bit there on that sunset. We are looking at clouds rolling in by daybreak and yes, some rain moving in mainly after lunchtime. Our temperatures across the area mid 60s uh, were the highs today. Yesterday, remember we were 69. Today, we were also in the 60s at 66. So we've doing pretty good so far this week and for this year, we have already had four 60 plus days. Now we are looking Looking at a transition though with some wet weather in our forecast and some cooler temperatures too. You look at the satellite picture and we are dry across the area right now with temperatures in the 60s but our next weather system is down here over Texas and that is the one that's going to be bringing in the rain. Our evening temperatures in the 40s and then we'll drop down into the 30s but it looks like we will stay above freezing with this in most communities. I think there's opportunities for wintry weather as I talked about at the top of the newscast mainly in our mountains a lot of clouds out there tomorrow morning and then the rain starts to push north by lunchtime into the afternoon we're going to see some of that rain and snow even a little bit of sleep possible especially the closer you are to the Blue Ridge Mountains and this wave looks to move out of here Friday night and then maybe we get a little bit of a lull in here on Saturday here's what's happening with temperatures tomorrow I think before the rain really gets in here the temperatures may jump up into the mid 40s but then once we start raining and with that east wind at 10 to 15 miles an hour we're going to see the numbers kind of trailing off tomorrow afternoon into the low 40s for the foothills it's chilly as well we'll see a little bit of a boost and then a drop off there's an opportunity on those colder ends tomorrow morning and then tomorrow afternoon and evening that there may be a little mix even in the foothills but i'm not anticipating much on grassy areas for the mountains we are looking for accumulating snow and sleet in the forecast. The temperatures will bump up just barely above freezing for a few hours tomorrow. Snow and sleet amounts could be close to one to two inches in some of our mountain communities. If you're close to the Blue Ridge Mountains where you have a chance of maybe a light coating in our foothills and for the triad it looks like a cold rain across the area. Here's the area where we may have some wintry weather and that may cause some travel concerns heading into tomorrow night and even into Saturday morning. For everyone else it's a lot of rain. Light rain for the most part and then it picks up late Friday into Saturday where we will likely see about a half of an inch of rain. The next weather system that comes at us comes in here on Sunday into Monday. So for Saturday morning we have lingering rain but then I actually think we might warm up a little bit and we may dry out some so you can get outdoors on Saturday. Heading into Sunday I don't think it's a total washout but the later it gets in the day we'll look for some of that rain to increase across our area. So again I don't think it's going to be raining the whole time this week and you'll have opportunities to get out and it's not a cold rain. I actually think the temperatures bump back up into the 60s heading into next week.